guys, this is Fiesta Philly again, also known as Blush on Feral Heart. And today we're going to do a tutorial on height maps. And height maps are used in Map Maker. And they're used to create mountains, hills, lakes, um, streams, anything that's going to affect the height of your map, basically. So, you're going to need a program like Photoshop or GIMP. Um, I've heard that this doesn't work in paint, so you may need something a little bit better than paint. GIMP is free. Um, I'm using Photoshop right now. So let's go ahead and get started. The first major thing that you have to do is make your file the correct size. And in paint, this would be very difficult um, if you have an older version of paint. Your height map must be 513 pixels by 513 pixels. Um, you can go ahead and switch your color mode to grayscale because your height map has to be in black and white only. And then we'll hit OK and make our canvas. So now that we have a blank canvas, go ahead and make another layer. And we're going to set our color to black. Now, my method of making height maps is very different than any other method that I've seen so far. Not even the feral heart maps um, in the game already are made this way. I used to work for a game company and I got this idea from how they created their maps and it was a much bigger game than feral heart. Um, but it will make your maps look more realistic and they'll have more hills and then it will be smoother and you will be less likely of getting stuck somewhere. So I really like this method and it takes you know, two minutes to do and you can still accessorize if you want to. Um, so we'll go ahead and fill in our canvas with black and we'll go up to filter, render clouds. And now this, um, this one might not be good enough. You still, you want to see a little bit of black in there and you can just keep clicking it until you find something that you like. Filter, render, clouds. And you can do um, render difference clouds, but as you can see, um, the black is where your water is going to be. So this map would have a lot of water. Um, white, very, very white is going to be your mountains and anything in between is going to be flat ground or have little hills. So we'll go ahead and use this one as an example. And you um, can create a new layer if you, I mean, you can use it the way it is right now. Um, but you're not going to have, you know, it's not going to be as customized and it might not have enough lakes for you or streams or something. So if we wanted to add lakes or streams, and I mean really deep ones, we're going to use black. So I might need a way bigger brush than that. Okay, color that in. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're about to blur it a lot. A lot of people use the blur tool to do this, but to me it takes too long and it still doesn't come out even enough. And you can still get stuck. So, there's two ways of fixing this. If you want this lake to have the hills and realistic look of everything else, you can turn the opacity down like this. And the lower you go with the opa opacity, the um, more shallow your lake is going to be. And the higher the number on your opacity, the deeper. So let's just go with a really deep lake. Now, probably these white areas are going to look like cliffs if we leave it the way that it is. And we don't want it that way. So we, we want it to look nice, smooth, realistic, and we definitely don't want anybody getting stuck. So we're going to hit filter again, blur, Gaussian blur, 
and you can blur as much as you want. Now, remember that this blur is actually going to make a slope into the lake. So if you don't, you know, we probably don't need that big of a slope. But something about like that is normally good. I'm going to go a little bit more because we're right next to that white area. Hit OK. And now your lake will actually have a realistic looking slope, kind of a beach um, area. And nobody will get stuck in there. So you do the same thing for streams. Just make another layer for a stream. Come off. Draw your stream. And that, that will need a little bit less of a blur. That looks good. And then there will be a stream there. Now if we wanted to create mountains, we're going to switch to white. Make a new layer. And let's say we wanted some, you know, little tall areas over here. Of course, you would draw this better than me. Um, and we'll do the Gaussian blur for them also. So the peaks will actually be a little bit smoother, but they will still be the tallest part of the map because they're the brightest part. And the thing about the way I create my height maps is the edges do not come out clean. And if you want clean sloped edges and you don't want anything to look like it's floating, you will add black all the way around. And you can make it really easy on yourself by hitting the shift key and just pulling straight down because it will make a straight line for you. If you have Photoshop, that is. And this will create water around the entire map, make it look really smooth. Of course, the map already is going to have water around it. So this will just make it look like the land is going into the water and it's natural. So we'll add a blur again. A little bit more. Okay. And there's your height map. So a lot of people have had trouble saving them and getting it to actually work on Feral Heart, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And you want to hit save as, and we want to save this as a PNG file. It cannot be anything else. So I'm going to call this tutorial app. And then we will put, um, I did as a PNG and you need to go to computer, your C drive, feral heart folder, then media, trains, and this is where you will actually save it. So we'll go ahead and save it there. Make sure you have it in the trains folder or feral heart will not find it and it has to be in PNG or it will crash and if your map is not 513 pixels by 513 pixels, it will also crash. So don't try to think that you can get away with anything else. And if you're crashing, you should probably go back and check those things and make sure that you did them all before asking any questions. There's a lot of people that ask the same questions and say, oh, I thought I did that, and then they go back and look, and they really didn't. So double check, even if you think you did it. So we'll go to tools now, map maker, and let's see, right here where it says default terrain, terrain height map is where we're going to put our height map. So hopefully we're going to find it, type in what you named your file, mine was tutorial map, hit enter, and it should put your height map on there. So. This is our little um, lake area, which I haven't turned the water on yet, so you can't see any water there now. And then this is the little stream that we made, which probably could afford to have been blended a little bit better, but you can still get out of that. It's still a little bit better than how feral hearts actually are. And then those hills over there are the white areas that we made. Now if we want those white areas to be taller, 
we can change the height of the entire map here. So say we wanted to change it to 700 and see how tall it makes them. It actually makes this more of a oceany type thing. Um, it'd be pretty hard to get out of there if you fell in. So we probably won't make it that high. Normally I just leave it at 300. It's normally a pretty fairly good height unless you're trying to do mountain ranges and everything really big. And this is the width of your map. You can make that bigger too. It's going to kind of move stuff around a little bit. Go ahead and set that back. Okay, and to add water, we'll just hit ocean and then it will add water and we can change the height of the water here. So we'll change that 50 to 80 and you can see that the water starts to get higher. Um, like I said, I probably should have blurred that stream a little bit more because it's way bigger than the lake right now. But we'll go ahead and test it out and see. You can see how smoothly you go into the water and transition. And we have realistic looking hills and little bumps because the world is not perfectly flat. So kind of helps and then we have this over here which is our white area that we added and the edges over here that we smoothed down they still could have been smoothed down a little bit better just to make it more realistic we just blurred a little bit more than I did and it'll be fine Height maps are really trial and error. You'll probably make them a couple times just to try to get it looking how you want. And this is our little stream area we made. And overall, it turns out to be a pretty nice looking map and pretty realistic. And the cloud method actually takes less time than sitting there and drawing everything. Um, and once you get you know a nice texture on here, it normally turns out pretty well. So that's how I make my height maps and I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, if you have any problems post them in the comments and I do reply and I will get back to you on it as soon as I can. Alright, thanks guys for watching. Bye!